Okay, this guide is going to be the updated Zero to Hero guide. Uh, it's a new guide for uh, new players and it's tips and tricks uh, of the trade. And um, I'm giving away some of my gaming secrets here uh, to assist you. First thing you should do, obviously if you're a competitive player and you like to PvP, go into the options menu before you select a server and take out the wind effect here, this one. Okay, because all that tree movement and things like that will distract you and you won't see players running around. So turn that off, that's your first tip. The second tip that you need is a PvP server. That basically means that you've got really short desk lives on your desks, uh, increased gather rates, but it also means your base can be burnt down in a matter of minutes if they get to your desk. So that's not for the casual players. Your standard servers are slower paced, takes longer to get materials, but it's the best gaming experience for the game at the moment. Okay, your first thing to do, um, obviously slightly artificial because I've, I've got a couple of bandages and a couple of berries because I was helping a friend out on this server last night. Uh, however, when you start, <clears throat> first thing to do is press M to open up your app. As you can see, I haven't discovered anything yet. I've literally got a rock, two bandages and some berries. But I'll show you how I play this game. I'll set a stopwatch as well because I had an argument with a guy and I said I could get geared in an hour. So that's what we're going to do. It's, it's a speed guide to get you in the mine, get you a basic weapon and ready to defend yourself and this is how I do it. So first things first, uh, press M, open up your map and um, you're going to spawn probably South Valley where I am at the moment or North Valley on the other side of the island. You want to head east, alright, so look at that little pointer there, orientate yourself so you point east and you're heading for East Island. The reason for this is people may want to kill you, you want to stay out of the way of other players and uh, that area allows you to gather the flax because that's the most important thing earlier on is food and flax, alright, get those sorted, get over to East Island. Uh, and you can gear up quite quickly. Because uh, I'm naked, I can hold down the shift key and if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen you'll see where the footprint is, that's your stamina running down. You can press F for a quick burst of speed like that but it drains your stamina significantly. You want to save that in case you're being pursued by a player. Staying alive is all about stamina conservation. Don't really let it drop below 50%, just keep occasionally tapping that sprint key and looking about for players. You can normally find players by trees coming down, that's where you know when a player is near, if there's trees been broken down nearby. As you can see I've come to the east part of Main Island, because this is Main Island, you'll see a little island over there, and that is what I refer to as East Island, as you can see on the map now it's starting to show what we call Crocodile River here, we need to get over there. Okay, you've reached the edge of Croc River now, you can easily swim across that, but first you've got to build up your stamina. As you can see, some of these berries I collected earlier, I've put them in my hotkey. Uh, so I can sit, drag them, drop them there, hit a number key, and as you see, my health goes up. And when your health is in the green, where that apple icon is, it means it regenerates your health. So if you lose some while swimming, it'll regenerate it slowly. So you start your swim, just keep pushing forward. Then the key is again walk, don't sprint, let that stamina build up in case there's a player here who might chase you off. But your best defence against armoured geared players is just to swim across the river and run away. They can't catch you. You've just got to keep the shift key held down to run away and manage that stamina. Okay, apologies about the dark but it's night time now. This is flax. It's the first thing you want to look for and start collecting. You need loads of this, absolutely loads. So keep looking for flax. And I always remain crouched when I'm doing this by holding the C key because you're less of a target profile for people. They might not see you. As you can see I'm on East Island now, I'm going to head for the North Valley where all the flax is up here. And start spamming trees, start hitting those trees. But when you hit the tree, rotate so you can see people creeping up on you. First top tip by Captain Roberts, find a cluster of trees, hit F3, go to range weapons, make arrows, and craft as you're hitting a tree. So you do two things at once, you're collecting wood and you're also using it for arrows. When you move it will cancel it, just restart it. Push down on that craft. You're also going to need to gather rocks, little pebbles like this. Grab them. Next step, got your arrows, farm loads of wood. But always, always, always keep on the move. Because now I'm not doing the arrows, I can look behind me and I can move around the tree now and it won't cancel the arrows because I'm not crafting them anymore. All right, just keep hitting those trees, keep looking about, keep on the move all the time because like I said, people home in on falling trees, so move, move, move all the time. As you can see on the map, I'm on East Island, going up to the North Valley, I've come across a cluster of rocks here. Grab all those rocks. 
Now we're going down into the valley, just keep scanning the horizon for player movement or trees coming down or signs of life. And as you can see, this uh, flax, you're going to grab that again. Okay, I was rudely interrupted by a blue screen of death, but here we go again, uh, grabbing those berries. And I was going on about the corn that's probably now disappeared, but it was, it was down there. Okay. While you're on your travels, look out for these. They can uh, spawn uh, a pirate's hat, which is equivalent to bronze armor. They can also give you a steel sword, which is a complete game changer because you can kill nakeds into it. And I won a pirate sword from that one. There we go, got a steel weapon. Complete game changer now, this one. You press Q to keep it hidden. You know, Q changes your loadout. All right. For example, poor defenceless guy with a stone. Now is the scary man with the pirate sword. Ooh. Okay, so what we're we doing now, uh, you want to drop flax seeds. Um, I was unlucky, I've only got one flax seed so far, but the next stage is you set up some platforms somewhere a little bit sneaky and you grow the flax while you're harvesting wood. Uh, it's a thing I call concurrent activity. What that basically means is you do two things at once. So while I'm farming trees, my flax is growing. Grab your flax, replant it, farm more trees, farm more stone because you're going to need a weapon. I've got that because I hit a pirate chest, but we'll do it as if you need a stone spear and a, and a shield, which is what your basic survival skills need. Then what you need to do is get a stone, um, a stone pick so you can go down the mine and you need a bow, a basic bow, just so you can get some fat to make extra torches to go down that mine. Now whilst farming trees, I saw another pirate chest down here. You've got to be really careful because it's close to two player bases, so I'm going to conserve my stamina in case they hear me. Now, you'll hear them moving around inside the base. You'll hear the like, footsteps on the woods. If you hear that, just leg it. It's all about sound in this game. So I'm using my new shiny pirate sword. I'm going to hit this and see what I get. <laughs> Gold coins. Uh, they're only good for up upgrading your desk when you've got a base. You can throw those away now. Your best time for farming trees is night time, so people can't see them coming down as easy. Uh, use daytime for farming rocks or uh, hunting animals. Now I'm choosing this hill up here uh, to place my flax farm down so I can see people creeping up on the. Uh, simply F5 is your building menu. I'm going to make a foundation. And then on top of that, I'm using tab to cycle through the different menus until I find the flower bed. Put two of those down. I'm going to put my flax seeds in by holding E and using the wheel. I've only got one set of seeds, so I'm going to go back out, farm some trees while it's growing. Hopefully, the flax will respawn or grow, and we'll carry on the guide. Okay, this little grassy knoll is located here on East Island. That's where there's three flax bushes and um, you know good sight over the valley. There's ample materials here, and I haven't been bothered by a player. There's a couple of guys on that are aggressive, but they haven't come to bother me yet. Okay, the first thing you want to make, you go to F3, go to melee weapons, and you want to make a spear, and you need to make a wooden shield, if you haven't got a pirate sword, of course. If you go to your F3 menu, and you go down to materials, that's how you turn the flax into um, linen and rope, which you require two of for your basic tools. Okay, ranged weapons now. Because I've, I'm slightly ahead of the guide, I'm now building the bow. Alright, but as you can see I've now got four planters down. The time now on my stopwatch is 19 minutes. I've got planters down. I would have had a spear and a shield by now. I've got a bow. I've also got 36 arrows. I've got food. And I've got a pirate sword because I was lucky. Don't stand there, watch the stuff grow. Get down there, get some more wood. Remember to craft those arrows while you're hitting trees. And then we're going to go hunting for that fat. Easiest way to do your loadout is literally hold the left shift key down, click on your weapons. Now they've fixed the AI since I've been away. I'm aware that these animals now stalk you and follow you to the ends of the year. So I'm not going to pick on a tiger, I'm going to pick on a hippo which I know I can outrun. Well you used to be able to outrun it. And they're fairly done so we're going to see what happens. In fact I'll just pick on the zebra because the zebra don't really, they won't attack me. So hold the left mouse button down to cock, right click to zoom in and aim high. You've got to keep your eye on where they go when you hit them. Can get confusing. You 
get a little hit in indicating the bottom left of the screen where the two swords appear to say that you've hit the animal and just, just wait till it stops running, there's no point shooting it on the move. Animal down, equip rock, go bash. Don't worry about collecting the arrows, I don't bother with that. Okay, I've got one fat. I need to kill another zebra, I need a little bit more than that. Did you notice I burnt through about five arrows there, that's why I said build 40 at the start. Okay, so in order of animal ease, it's gazelles the easiest to kill, then zebra, then you're going to go up to the bigger animals. Um, you just got to keep your distance from these guys, hit them once and run. Or twice if you're looking. <laughs> Sprint off. That's just outside his aggro range, you see. So I can keep pelting him with arrows and turning him. Like that. No threat at all. Just keep backing off. Keep shooting, strafing, shooting, strafing. Alright, so I'm running out of arrows, so I'm going to run back to the tree line. I'm going to go past my planters first and uh, harvest that flax to make sure somebody doesn't steal it. And I'm going to go and hit more trees and get more arrows. I'm aiming for 10 bone, then I can make the bone bow, which is a lot more powerful. As you can see, my flax is now ready and I can harvest it. <laughs> yeah, the... Um, the, the, the bit where I said about the bow and bow, as a beginner you shouldn't go for that. You should just basically have the basic bow, spear, shield, um, then make the stone pickaxe which I'll show you in a minute and go straight for the mine after you've got the fat for the torches. Because uh, to make a bow and bow you need 10 bone and another 40 linen, which is, uh, sorry, 40 flax, which is quite time consuming. Just pull the hippos here, it's another patch of uh, 3 flax. The whole trick of this is you don't speak to anyone, you stay away from people, just go to your own little remote part of the island, just farm. You know, always make sure you're doing something, that's the key to it. Okay, this little area, I'm ready to move on now. I'm going to turn this into a bit of a crafting area, nothing more than that, so people don't raid it. So literally all I'm going to do is put a desk down to bank it, now that's safe now. You know, um, I put the loot in there that I don't want to take with me and lose, which should be the hide and then basic starter weapons because I've now got the pirate sword. I don't need all that fat either, so I'm going to split that down. So I just take 20 with me. And then turn your remaining flax into bandages. Now, this is a guide. What you would do in reality is wall off that builder's desk, you know, so people can't come and hit it and then get access to your things in three hours. Okay, so we're going to make a stone pickaxe. That's the materials you need for it. Craft that. Okay, now I'm 49 minutes into my guide. I've got a bone bow. I've got backup arrows. I've got a pirate sword, a shield, a stone pickaxe. I've got a basic storage area constructed, albeit I should actually put walls down here and a roof on, but you will do that in reality. And I'm ready to go mining. And I've got the additional torches I need and fat for backup and wood in case I run out of torches. Now when going to the mining area, you have to go west. Um, back across this river, go back the same way you can, don't try and brave the crocodiles because they move about randomly and if they kill you, you'll, you'll lose all your stuff in the water. Bags do float but chances are you need a boat to go and get those goods, you won't have it, you'll lose it. There is oil on top of the hills on East Island, it's not enough for what we need at the moment. Like I said, I'm doing this guide as if I hadn't found the pirate sword, so you, you're rushing to go and get a bronze sword because as soon as you get a sword, it's a game changer for you. Bronze arrows, bonus because it means you can kill people in armour. Wooden arrows, only good for kids. Bone arrows, slightly better, but you better be a good shot. A lot of players basically waste their time building bases while they're naked with the chipped stone. They'll, they'll spend four or five hours building a base, only for somebody who's geared to come along and kill them, and then they lose their hard work. Uh, this is the better way of playing the game. Use a little outpost, gear yourself up first, then do your base later. And I've basically got a save point because I've put the shitty weapons that I had before into the crate. So if I die, I haven't gone straight back to zero, I've still got basic weapons and that still puts me a good 20 minutes into the game. Okay, so we've swung across the river, we're now on the line in between 13 and 12 and in the distance where my mouse pointer is behind these trees, you can see a blue opening, that's the one of the entrance to the caves. Now the caves are normally quite a, a contested area because players want to get in there and get the ore. Top tip, walk in quietly at first, crouch your way in, listen for players and look for light you see light in there then someone's got a torch out it may not be wise to go in at that moment in time but wait till you get in to put your torch on okay you're looking at these rocky outcroppings up here that's copper you need copper and tin to make bronze farm the crap out of it basically what you're aiming for is you want a couple hundred copper uh, and 
about 20 turn, 30 turn. And then you're going to need to follow my blacksmithing guide because you're going to need a furnace. That furnace smelts the tin and copper. You'll then need a smithing station and an anvil. Then you look into the furnace and you create the bronze hammer. And then all you simply do, I mean it can also be used as a weapon, the bronze hammer, so it's not entirely useless. But then you're going to craft the blade. And like I said, follow my smithing guide, make that blade and you set. This is the zero to hero guide. We're at the hour marker now. Like I said, I've got one of the best weapons in the game. I've got the best bow in the game. I've already got 81 copper, 24 tin. I've got everything I need. I've got a little mini workshop area built. And that's all in an hour. So it can be done, people. Thank you for watching, and please look at the pin subject in uh, the Steam discussions area for my other guides. They're all a bit outdated, so I'll be updating them shortly, and I'll probably introduce a fighting guide with top tips in as well if people require it. Thank you.